Hi, I'm Phil Hall for Business Superstar, and I've got a story for you. Back when I was in college, I worked as an English tutor at my college campus. And uh, one of the guys I worked with at the tutoring center was a fellow, we'll call him Sam. Uh, Sam was a rather large guy. He weighed over 300 pounds. And one day he was tutoring uh, one of the girls from the campus. We'll call her Little Miss Big Mouth because, quite frankly, she had a rather large mouth. And she wasn't shy about reeling off smart aleck remarks. And one day she took a look at Sam and she made a couple of unkind comments about his weight and she even uh, gave him a whack on the stomach. Uh, Sam had some issues that Little Miss Big Mouth was not aware of, one of them being uh, hypersensitivity about his appearance. And for whatever reason, he started to strangle Little Miss Big Mouth. And this required intervention from other people at the center to get Sam's hands off of this girl's neck, to calm this girl down, to convince her not to call the police and have Sam arrested, and also to calm Sam down too, because he was a bit of a, a hysterical uh, nature at that time. The moral of the story is this. Uh, a lot of people think they're funny, and a lot of people think it's okay to uh, reel off some wisecracks at the expense of co-workers or other people around them, but uh, not everybody may appreciate that kind of sense of humor, and a lot of the people who are making these comments, quite frankly, don't have a sense of humor. It's more mean-spirited, it's nasty, it's certainly not professional for a workplace. Now, granted, most people probably will not react to a smart aleck comment by strangling you, but at the same time, stop and think, what you're saying, is this really necessary? Is it really funny? Is this going to encourage goodwill in the workplace? If the answer is no, then the obvious question is to uh, zip your lip and keep the jokes to yourself. Peace out.